Hey, what's up? This is Jared with the iPhone app podcast, and today we're going to take a look at an app called Byline, which is a news reader that uses Google Reader, your Google Reader account, which let me just say this is exciting to me, and I'm so excited that this app developer contacted me and said, hey, here's my app, because I'm excited about this. I am not a big fan of the Google Reader web app. And I'm not a, fact, a fan of the Google app that basically just redirects you to the web. So Byline, basically if you don't know what Google Reader is, it allows you to subscribe to blogs like the iPhone app podcast and get that information downloaded right into your um, into one place. So if you like reading blogs but you hate going to individual websites because you're always forgetting which website you're on or whatever, you can use RSS feeds to subscribe to those blogs and put that information all into one place, which I do all the time. Now we have a nice little app for $3.99, so it is a $4 app, but they can get away with that because they're the only ones out there doing this well. So you can, uh, some of the features are two-way syncing with Google Reader, so when you view an, uh, something on here, it's gonna update it on Google Reader and let you know that it's an unread, or that it's a read item now instead of unread. Um, browse new items, uh, star items, which basically means they're your favorites. Um, notes and folders and separate lists view up to 200 items from each list while you're offline including embedded images so it downloads the information into your phone so that you have it there as you can see whatever number 29 out of 144 is taken a moment so there's probably some images included in that um, in that item so if you're if you start this app while you're at home on your Wi-Fi network or whatever and then you go to work where maybe you have locked Wi-Fi and a very very horrible edge network even uh, you can have a little bit of your content in here to read so it does offer offline browsing um, which is really cool it has a built-in browser so it doesn't actually send you to Safari it uses the browser built-in it works in landscape mode um, you can star and share items you can send items through email and you can create and share notes on certain items as well um, so as you can see it goes into archive mode Let's look at a blog that I frequent um, called 9to5Mac, which I love to read because all of the latest Mac information, including some decent, even some decent app reviews, written app reviews, uh, show up on their website. So we have all those here. So um, let's see. Let's look at, come take a look inside the new MacBook and MacBook Pro. I fix it as struck again. Of course, some of these websites, they're always the first ones to take apart a computer because uh, I guess that's what, you know, guys, we like to do when we buy something. We like to take it apart, see what it looks like on the inside. So uh, that's basically what they've done. They've broken it down. And this is a blog post, actually. So um, from in here, I can go see now, take a look at the iFixit's report for the MacBook Pro. I can click on that and it's actually going to open up that report in a internal web browser which is cool and we still have navigation here to get back to our original blog which is important to me because I hate it when it opens a new page or something like that when all I wanted to do was see what that link was. Um, so really cool, really cool that it shows this all of your information in here that you have saved. Um, of course you could just go and view all new items and it'll just show all of your folders but I have my stuff in categories so I'm able to view that stuff uh, in a categorized way which makes it a little easier for me to decide what I want to read. So this app byline is great. It's a godsend for me because I've been wanting an app that does this for a long time and I'm, gr I'm grateful that the app developer contacted me because I probably would have never found it on my own with the amount of apps that are in the uh, uh, in the app store uh, nowadays. So definitely if you read blogs this is an app that you need to have for your iPhone, so I recommend downloading it. It's $3.99 in the App Store. Uh, it's called Byline, and it lets you read information from sites and blogs even when you're offline, linking it up to your Google account, which makes it even better. So, Byline, check it out, and come back to iPhoneAppPodcast.com 
subscribe, add it into your, uh, into your Google Reader account so that you can get all of the reviews on your iPhone. But also go and leave a comment and let us know what you think about this app on uh, the page that I've, uh, that's been created to review this app on the iPhone app podcast. So that's going to do it for the review today. My name's Jared Hill, and you've been watching the iPhone app podcast. Take care.